for that control where just over challenges happen, players just get a little bit too aggressive at times, throwing away their lives, and it's been costly. Of course, now that we're all the way back to Arsenal Hardpoint for 100 Thieves, a little bit more mistake free. Kenny off to a very hot start. 100 Thieves, they got themselves a, a noticeable lead, but EG quick on the attack. And it's worth mentioning, this, this was a map specifically for evil geniuses when they had phantoms on the where they, they actually looked good. They loved that P2 rotation. Phantoms up top would just slay down from gun side. And they looked very, very good at it. Now, though, it's a different beast when you play 100 Thieves on what is widely considered their, their strongest harp one. Of course, we talked about 100 Thieves as being their favorite map. Well, you gotta imagine J Cat playing for the streaks, 225 off that third hill for 100 Thieves. They have been phenomenal at it. And of course, J Cat still looking for the streaks, and well, he's moved inside the hill with eight seconds left, so guaranteed not gonna earn the streaks. Someone's eventually gonna kill him, so you try to fight for the final eight seconds, and well, you don't even get those. A little awkward fight, but on the plus side, at least one's a little closer towards B3, and this is what you were talking about 100 Thieves on this hard point. So, so good for EG. The early rotation is going to be massive. You've got to make sure you're throwing yourself a big chunk of time here just to deny them the dominance here on P3. Of course, that dominance so far. Yeah, again, virtually non existent. They're working on the pinch. You see the player creeping in through fence. Again, he just kind of speed walking his way through, doing a little crouch, but of course, he's traded out instantly. And EG, they stave off that first push, doing a, a fairly solid job. And of course, they have the lead. Surprisingly so, though, even with the lead, it's Kenny that's going to be the, the first one of the specialist. Priest it not too far behind. So potentially a, a tide turning plays might creep up just on this next hill. Potentially, scrap time. Good for 100 Thieves. It's going to put them within touching distance of EG, but the rotation really is what matters on the other side of the map. You're right, number nine versus number three. That's going to be enabled with a little bit of assistance from his teammate. Let's win the early fight, but instantly EG trade out. EG with control. And again, keep in mind, Priest, uh, maybe a, a kill or two away before he can actually use the grab slam, but he's definitely knocking on the devil's door. So a bunch of players coming through the front side, a couple players trying to cut through mid for 100 keys. And Abel does get the entry kill, and actually he's just gonna basically do it himself. He just walks in with the SOG, finds two kills, and 100 thieves, they get in for a moment, and then everyone around Naval just dies. Oh, awkward stun. Jcap shuts down Enable. And again, EG starting to give themselves a cushion. Get the scrap time 20 seconds, which looking at the mini map, they probably will. It's gonna be about a 50 point advantage, unless number nine on the mini map turns around, which he doesn't. So yeah, now it comes down to the rotational fights, and well, EG's there early. There early, there. Winning some of those intro kills. Apathy, though, he does get sniffed out. Fog of War potentially coming into play for it. And, of course, you got more players on the map just thinking about some score streaks. Yeah, J Cap, really the primary player here. It's the second time streaking. He's 10 and 5. He's just looking at the back. And J Cap's going a very, very deep route. A quick glance at that perspective, as I said. Working towards the streaks. Needs a little bit of help from his teammates. But this is a lot of time. 100 Thieves are getting in the hill. A lot of time so far, but J-Cap, he is going on the fullest of flanks to try to make the break, and at the very least, he's blocking those spawns. You see 100 Thieves, those arrows at the top right of the mini-map, very far out, and eventually, you have to imagine EG, just because of J-Cap blocking the spawns, are going to be able to break through and able to hold on, and it sounds like a war machine actually coming out. Attach Aaron's yeah. specialist very quickly. He's able to find two, and Kenny might return with two in kind, but only 15 seconds left, and EG have already done a great job. I think 100 Thieves are ready for that. No flack out on a couple of those players. Tench manages to get two. 15 and nine is his stat line. A great performance from him in the first rotation of Hills. EG will go into the second rotation with a 122 to 85 point lead. And Weber, it is 100 Thieves ready to go. Inside P1, big gunfight win from Accuracy over towards Window. Might actually set up a bit of a pinch here on towards that first hill. We don't have to get too crazy about it, but 100 Thieves has been a team that on the year has been phenomenal at earning score streaks. They have been absolute machines, but so far today, it seems like a handful of players just coming out a little bit flat. I mean, you got Octane on Arsenal of all maps. He starts five and 12, but has a couple kills potentially lined up in front of him to maybe get the ball rolling just a little bit. But at the moment, it's EG just outslaying the opposition. I said this was going to be a simple one. I think many people looked at this and thought, oh, this is going to be kind of running the mill, right? It's going to be a standard game for 100 Thieves. But EG are taking it to them, making them work for every single point. Lead change will come through. 100 Thieves will take it, but for how long? Because it's EG controlling the back spawns here for the 
second hill. App does get himself a double. Right? Like a little bit of pressure, and you were talking about Streaks Octane 120 away. Not going to earn them here. Evil Geniuses back in the lead. Accuracy just comes up bigger. He's able to find two with the ICR, and this is a map where ICR is just win you the map if you're successful. And of course, well, 17 and 15, not overwhelming, but the supporting cast absolutely there. Now he's just inside the hill, doing his normal thing, trying to rack up as much time as possible. This is what he looks for. From his, his three plays from 100 feet shooting down on him. Needs a little bit of help from his teammates. Ends up the first. There's the help that comes through. Apathy with the double. Exotic finds an able, and there's only going to be one player left from 100 Thieves. It's Slasher. He drops as well. Accuracy played that perfectly. Just stayed alive. It's nice. A couple of shots down. His teammates came off spawn to the rescue. EG building the lead again. And, and this is big as well, because they're going to have the Vision Pulse potentially to break new. They can pair it with the Tempest if they want. And yes, Priest has got the grab. 100 Thieves, they might have a couple specialist answers for the problem. And of course, shutting down the Tempest straight away with the nade is going to make that a little bit easier. But I have to imagine accuracy. He's already popped it halfway done with the Vision. Can they make a play off of it? Full machine out to maybe try and counter it. Exotic goes down. And he shuts down attach, and that's a good hold from 100 Thieves. 40 seconds to go on this hill and we may turn this into a full 60. And that's perfect as well. Uh, again, the vision pulse gets popped out. Slasher's like, hey, it doesn't matter if you can see me through a wall. I'm just going <laughs> to fire nades at you. I'm just going to slow the push down and a ton of gunfights end up going the thieves way. And of course, that lead they had has been cutting well more in half. EG break again, though. So resilient. Keeping anything up. That final 15 of scrap time. Good for EG. The rotation in for 100 Thieves. They used Attack 5 boost as well. Priest with Grav Slam, Octane with Tempest. Enable working towards Vizzle. Three big specials on the flip side. Exotic with Tempest. That is about it. Attached still about halfway towards his second War Machine of this map. You would expect if 100 Thieves use their specials correctly, we'll have another lead change. After he is able to find a, a big kill mid map, you can see Evil Genius is taking a ton of time going on the, the full pinch. They got one player through mid, two players from either side, and so far, so good. They spent 15, 20 seconds setting up the play, and they break instantly just to extend the lead. And now the issue for 100 Thieves, do you want to fly in? Do you feel obligated to try to burn that grab slam, or do you want to try to save everything for the rotation? Because if you lose those spawns, the game is going to be that much more difficult. You have to focus on the spawns. Spawns first in this situation with 14 seconds left. Priest gets a triple. And you may get your cake and eat it too. The final scrap time, good for 100 Thieves. The spawns still in their control. Now you have the utility to give yourself a big, big lead. I'm not sure they're going to be able to win it here. Potentially could, mathematically, but you expect at least a couple of contests to come through from EG. Well, this is where EG needs to be patient, right? You got a couple players up front, and after he just needs to stay live because his teammates are trying to set up the push to go all the way around back. EG, they've had a couple patient plays where they take their time and go for the break. This is another slow one, but at a certain point, you imagine the pressure's on, but Prisa, he's going to commit. He goes for the grass slam now, just 70 points off the of streaks and doesn't finish the first gunfight, and he gets beat down for it. EG, eventually, eventually they break through. And that's a trade EG will be so happy with. Grab slam, no streaks. Yeah, they'll take that. They're inside the hard point as well with 20 seconds left on it. 100 Thieves break through. Apathy and Attach, they're both challenging. Yeah, still inside the hill. 14 seconds left. This is big, big time. 100 Thieves are going to walk away with it. And more importantly, 100 Thieves are inside P1. With the vision pulse, you got an able with the vision pulse, maybe for some streaks, but honestly, you don't even care about those. You just want to stay alive to keep the vision rolling. Hunter Thieves, full control in the hill. You got Octane with the Tempest out, trying to find some big kills. 10 seconds left, and game number one is theirs. And where do you even go? You're getting chained through the door. You're going to have to flood, and these should be easy shots for Octane. Eventually, eventually, he gets them, and Hunter Thieves, their first map win on the day. So hard and so well. Their patience is key for breaking a couple of those hills. But that very last fight on the second to last hill, 100 Thieves get the scrap time whilst three other players rotate towards new. At that point, the specialists come out. They seal the deal. If EG just rotated a little.